Hey what's up guys, my name is Vishub and you are watching everyone's story. So today in this video, I'm going to rank 10 best Pokemon movies to watch. Since this ranking is not only based on my personal opinion, but also I will try to give you guys a worldwide point of view about that movie. Means I will also show you guys that movie IMDB rating. Plus, I will tell you the box office collection of that particular movie. As this thing shows how much fans love that movie. However I know IMDB rating could not be perfect, because not every person who watched the movie also wrote about that out there. But at least I could give you a large number of viewpoint related to that movie. And despite all these, I will give my personal opinion too. Since this is an request video from one of my long time subscriber. So if you guys also have any request topic video, then you can comment it right down below. I will definitely try to make a video on that topic. Whatever, before jumping to the video, I want you guys to like the video as a motivation purpose for me. Now without wasting any time, let me jump straight to the video. Ok number 10, Volcanion and the Mechanical Marvel. So it is an adventures film released in 2016. And this is the 19th movie of Pokemon and the last movie of the XY series. Since the film focuses on Counselor Alba of the Azoth Kingdom who steals the sole heart of the artificial Pokemon Majorna to power and control a flying fortress in the kingdom. The mythical Pokemon named Volcanion allies with our boy Ash Ketchum and of course with his friends too. To stop Counselor Alva and to recover Majorna's sole heart. Since now if I say you my personal experience then it was a very action packed and adventurous movie. As throughout the movie you will see various battles in an adventurous way. Even the storyline of this movie was nice overall. Now its IMDB rating is 6 out of 10. And this movie had made a box office collection of about 25 million dollars, although number 9, Destiny Deoxys. So this was released in 2004 as the 7th movie of Pokemon anime series. So in this movie Ash come to a high tech city named Larue City. Which was pretty impressive place not only for visiting but also for Pokemon battles too. Out here Ash and the gang meet a boy named Tori who's cat from all Pokemon because of his childhood incident. In this movie Deoxys shown up and take control of the city. Plus, the legendary Pokemon Rayquaza also shows up and try to remove this invader from its territory. Meanwhile, Ashtori and all their friends gets caught in the middle but they're certainly not out of the fight. So now in my personal opinion, this movie storyline was very smooth and interesting kind of too. You will definitely going to love the movie in overall experience. Now its IMDB rating is 6.1 out of 10. And this movie had made a box office collection of about 34 million dollars. Now number 8, Giratina and the Sky Warrior. So this movie was released in 2008 as an animated adventure film. And it was the 11th movie of the Pokemon anime series which actually have a direct sequel to Rise of the Cry movie. So the film followed the story of a researcher named Zero who seeks to sacrifice and absorb the interdimensional abilities of a Pokemon known as Giratina. Which has surfaced in Zero's world following the events of the previous film so that Zero can become the ruler of Giratina's world. Meanwhile, our boy Ash Ketchum and his friends will escort a flower bearing Pokemon called Shaman which is being followed by Giratina, to reunite it with other shaman at a flower garden. So again the storyline of this movie is nice, but with a very adventurous way. Plus, the interdimension part of the movie will make it more interesting to watch. Although its IMDB rating is 6.1 out of 10. And its box office collection is of about 43 million dollars. Number 7, The Rise of Their Cry. So this movie was, was released in 2007, again as an adventure animated film. And this was the 10th movie of the Pokemon anime series. So in the film we saw two legendary Pokemon named Dialga and Palkia. Who actually never mean to meet each other as this could create a disturbance in space-time. But they meet at Alamos town where Ash and their friends also was. Since in starting the town people blame their cry for events that are happening like nightmares. But actually he was trying to protect the town from Palkia and Dialga. Now in my personal opinion this movie storyline was the best. You will definitely enjoy the movie in a very interesting way. Whatever, now its IMDB rating is 6.5 out of 10. And this movie box office collection was about 42 million dollars, although number 6, Zoroark the Master of Illusions. So this film was released in 2010 as the 13th animated movie of the Pokemon franchise. The film followed the story of a businessman and media owner named Grungs Kodai who plans to absorb the Time Ripple. That appear in Crown City to renew his ability to see into the future which will destroy the city's greenery. To help find the Ripple, Kodai manipulate the news to have the city sealed off by using illusions created by Zoroark. Meanwhile, Ash and the gang accompany a baby Zerua who only wants to reunite with its mother Zoroark. Since this movie is also a little bit emotional, adventurous and with a good storyline. So if you like Pokemon, then I will suggest you to watch this awesome movie too, it will not disappoint you. Now its IMDB rating is 6.1 out of 10. 
and this movie had made a box office collection of about 71 million dollars now number 5 i choose you so this film was released in 2017 as a fully focused movie on our boy ash ketchum adventures since this movie is set on an alternative timeline where journeys follow the adventure of ash pikachu verity and sorrel who actually seek to meet the legendary pokemon ho at the summit of mount tensei Since this was a very good movie in which we saw Ash to undergo various development which I personally love to see. However even after being a good movie I don't know why but its box office collection is only 37 million dollars which is actually not so much in compared to the other movies that are in the list. Consequently I had already told you guys in the starting of video that ranking is not only affected by one factor I had also seen some other factors like my personal opinion. Although its IMDb rating is 6.3 out of 10 which is nice. Whatever number 4 Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. So my personal favorite Pokemon movie of all time. It was released in 2005 as the 8th movie of Pokemon franchise. The story of the movie follows hundreds of years ago when Cameron Palace and its people were saved by the noble Oranite who sacrificed his life for it named Sir Aaron. So from that day forward the people have always honored his deeds with an annual festival. And this time our boy Ash also participate in it and eventually win it also. and after he wins it he is asked to don the ceremonial role of that aura guardian does however aaron's importance become clear especially when his pokemon lucario emerges from his staff since this movie have a very good storyline with lots of adventure and having a very emotional ending so i will definitely suggest you guys to watch this amazing movie even before 2019 this movie holds the status of having the highest imdb rating that is 6.9 out of 10 However just like I choose you movie this movie also didn't earn much as its box office collection is only about 37 million dollars Although number 3 The Power of One so this movie was released in 1999 as the second film of the Pokemon franchise In this movie Ash Misty and Tracy enter Shamouti Island where they discover about the three legendary bird pokemon Meanwhile a collector named Lawrence attempts to capture the three pokemon to awaken Lugia which proves dangerous for the legendary pokemon Lugia and also for the whole pokemon world too Since this movie not only introduced legendary birds in front of us but also show how mysterious Pokemon world could be. Now its IMDb rating is 6.1 out of 10 which is only nice. But its box office collection is huge that is about 133 million dollars. So of course this movie is a good one and you should watch it. Now number 2 New to Returns. So the first Pokemon movie which was released in 1998. In this movie a set of scientific experiment on Mew leads to the creation of a clone named Mewtwo. He sets out to destroy the world because he thinks humans are only bad. But our boy Ash and his friends decided to stop Mewtwo's evil plans. Since Mewtwo was the evil in this movie, but still he become the fan favorite Pokémon of various Poké fans even up to now. So this movie have a very good storyline, adventure was too much and have a emotional ending part 2. And its IMDb rating is 6.3 out of 10. And this movie box office collection is more than 163 million dollars, although now finally number 1 Detective Pikachu. So Pokemon first live action movie which was released in 2019. Since this movie actually break all the records of the Pokemon franchise. As first it have the highest IMDb rating which is 8.1 out of 10. Then also it's get the highest box office collection which is more than 433 million dollars. So these things already depict that this film is the best movie of Pokemon. So the story of this movie follows Tim who is the main character of the movie. Actually his father had been dead and he with his father Pokemon Pikachu. working on the case that Tim's father had left unfinished since this movie is full of adventure action packed and a very good ending maybe his ending will surprise you as i myself didn't expected that that time whatever now that's all for this video i hope you guys enjoy it so don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit that bell icon to get more this type of related videos in future also be sure to comment your thoughts and if you have any suggestions for upcoming video now at last as always you guys can follow me on my social media handles like instagram and twitter Thanks for watching.